Stationeers today, I'm Tremor Boria and we're doing power. I've made some changes. This isn't really a big change. I moved the battery in here, that doesn't matter. I built a wall, it's just cosmetic, but I like it. It'll stop the storm a little bit. No, it's just cosmetic. First thing we need is a large battery and for that we need to make Stellite. We've got to put steel, copper, and cobalt in the furnace. We also have to turn the furnace on. No? Oh. Yes. It's just got to be hot. I added panels to that furnace. We just melt things in there. We don't actually make anything in it. Okay, I'm going to shut off the intake. We're going to drop in steel. And the steel's going to melt very slowly. I mean, not slowly, but there's so much of it. I'm not making the right thing right now. I'm making Astraloy, but we're going to need that too. So we're making Astraloy first, because I don't pay attention. Cool. More Mega Pascals. There we go. Boom. Beautiful. I'm going to let some pressure off, just till it stops rising. Now we're going to drop in all the silicone, and it's a storm. Great. Okay, what do we got here? All the silicone's in, and we're dropping in all the silver. And you know what? We're dropping in the cobalt too, because it'll go. It'll fit. Just going to let some pressure off real quick. Cannot get that up to temperature. It is pretty though. Oh man, it's ready. <laughs> no way. That's awesome. We're going to knock out two large batteries. We're also going to burn off some bad fuel while we're here. Two simple transformers. All this yellow wire was temporary. So we're gonna paint it red. And now when I collect this back up, it'll turn red again. Beautiful, now we don't have to paint everything over and over again, cause I hate that. So our large battery is gonna go right there. Oh, we have to put it together. Of course we have to put it together. We have to put everything together. And I'm gonna tuck this other one right up against that one. Now the transformers. Are gonna go right here like this. Boop. They're gonna cover up the logic plug, but I don't understand what the logic plug on the battery is for. Heavy cable, yes. What do we need to build these things? Oh, we have no power. <laughs> I'm gonna hook up temporary power and get steel and electric parts made. Steel! I thought that'd be faster. Electric parts, yes, install, beautiful. We're just gonna hook temporary power up back here for right now. It's going to those solar panels, but we're gonna replace all those, but we're not. We're gonna build a whole bunch of new ones here today, and then I'll replace those in my own time. You know what this system needs is an emergency coal generator. Batteries are here, solid generators there, shop, Manufacturing courtyard is here. And this way, if the batteries ever die, I can just step over here and fire coal right in it. We're gonna put a rack above it with coal. I know it's dark, but that's temporary. No, it's not. That's permanent. That's a permanent live that's a permanent emergency wire for charging batteries. Like we're gonna do right now. I don't have any coal. Here we go. Coal in. Turn on. Batteries charging. And we're just going to set these to like, I don't know, 1500. I don't know what we're using here yet. So this one's just going to run lights above the shop and that's it. I don't know, a thousand. I mean, I haven't built any of that stuff yet, but uh, that'll be the next video. That might be today because it won't be very interesting. It'll just be me putting up lights. I want 20 heavy solar panels and I don't know how many regular. I'm going to make the 20 heavy first. Do you know what? I can't carry that much. <laughs> Good. I've been doing some thinking. <laughs> some. I think we might need another battery. We're going to make the basic heavy solar panels. Why was that so hard to say? And since it's nighttime, I might as well just make them all night and then we'll install them during the day. Install them so the power points this way. And then this one. So that's the logic there. We're going to spin this one around. So the power hookup is here. Power, logic, nothing. Power, power, logic. You get the idea. And I'm gonna fill this whole area with that. And then we're gonna wire it together. Together. Done. I wired it up. 
but the power wire runs around the outside, hooks into the panels, obviously, back to the batteries. And the logic wire runs on the inside, but it doesn't go anywhere yet. We're going to do that now. Only the tall ones need the logic wire. This is not a tutorial. I will link a thing in the description for what we're about to do. We need logic in and out. <laughs> Good. Two. And the sensor. This battery for the light runs up over here. I had to put a transformer in because this is going to be logic and I don't want it. You know, you know the drill. And we're just going to set this to 500 apparently. Logic reader. Batch writer. Batch writer. We're going to wire these in. Power. Bat. This will be in the description. Well, a link will be in the description. And this wire, we're going to bring out the bottom. Right into here. Ta-da. And off here, we need one more wire. And we need to put our daylight sensor there. But I want it on the, on the outside wall. I don't think it matters, but I do. Which is right here. Sensor. And that's the back side. This might take me a minute. Logic reader in. We want daylight sensor. And then I want to know the horizontal position of the sun. And we'll turn that on. And over here, logic reader in. Out type, we want the solar panel. And then variation, we want the vertical position. And we're going to turn that on and all the solar panels should move. I'm going to turn one to the sun right now, and we're going to see if it's right. 270 degrees. I mean, that looks right. I'm going to turn them all. Sun went down, and the panels are flipping around to where it's going to come up. Did it right, as far as I know. Sun comes up. Well, they move. They're not moving yet, but they will move. Moving. Ta-da! <laughs> I did this. I know the pattern's a little different, but I think this is using less power. No, this would be using way more power. But I'm gonna build more solar panels for the greenhouse. Probably out front here. And this battery's just gonna run the power. Oh, uh, is that dumb? Is there a better way to do that? As a side note, the transformer I put on the ceiling doesn't need to be there. Because those are just power. Those aren't logic. So this logic wouldn't leak back through it. This is all going to be moved. That little battery is going to be moved. Why am I pointing? I'm going to do a bunch of work right here real quick. And then... I'll show you what I did. I put a battery box here. But I don't think this is working the way I want it to. I want it... Okay. I installed a big battery to run the lights that I'm going to put in. And... The solar panels. This would work like a backup. Like it would draw from that big battery. And then if it ever ran out, this would kick on. But I don't think it's working like that. And I put iron in here. Where I'm going to build solar panels before the next episode. But as of right now, I have gotten tired. And I wanted to do the lights over the shop. But I didn't really plan for that. And I'm kind of just dicking about. I'm fairly confident for the next episode. Lighting will be in here. Solar panels will be out there. And we upgraded power today. I have nothing else to tell you. That's today's episode. Thank you for watching. You have a good day. Not all gamers are pro.